Hi, welcome to GMM and KM, K means implementation for the IRIS dataset session. Here I am importing the required uh, uh, packages or libraries. Then uh, my dataset is having uh, five columns. So sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. These are all features and one is the class which is having for reference. Then here uh, I am uh, making that all the data set, uh, all the features, all the features into X, except last feature, except last column. I am assigning these four columns into the feature. Then I am assigning that last column. That last column is having um, uh, uh, three values, Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica. So I am making the uh, um, uh, 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 integer values for Setosa 0 and Versicolor 1 and uh, Virginica 2 by using the uh, dictionary. And uh, here I am uh, making the last column uh, into the variable y. So now y is having the, uh, this combination of 0 class or 1 class or 2 class. So here our data set is having 3 distributions. Our data set is having uh, different uh, classes, different classes, 3 distributions. Now I am making the uh, figure size into 4, 4 by 7. 4 is the uh, 14 is the height and uh, 7 is the width and uh, I am making uh, three values uh, in the array uh, red uh, line black and uh, here I am just displaying by based upon the zeros and the ones and the twos that's based upon uh, sepal length and sepal width I am displaying the uh, data here the first uh, first uh, figure here, uh, based upon the sepal length and sepal width, my data is distributed like this. So, red color is one class and black color is another class. Third class is uh, lime color. And uh, the second uh, plot, which is uh, uh, depends upon the petal length and petal width. Uh, so, when you are using the petal length is x1 and the petal, length, petal width is x2, we are getting uh, this kind of classes, this kind of appearance for the data set. Then we are applying the k means algorithm here. In the k means, uh, we are having two steps. One is um, uh, we, are, we will start with initially random value for the mean, then we will calculate the clusters. So uh, for mean, we are using this formula. So here we need the mean. So mean is the parameter that mean is decided by the uh, EM algorithm, expectation and the maximization algorithm in the maximization step. So keep on update the mean uh, for deciding the cluster centers. Again, uh, in the k-means, we are calling the k-means algorithm with uh, three distributions. That is the three clusters because we are having three classes, uh, Setosa, Virginica and uh, Versicolor. Then randomly or uh, random state we are assigning, then fit train with uh, given training data x. Uh, x is having the four features, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Then uh, after that, I'm just displaying in the uh, plot, uh, which is having the three rows and two columns. And um, here I'm displaying uh, with respect to sepal length and sepal width. Uh, here, uh, after training our, uh, uh, our uh, data set model, output is look like this. So here the black class on class and uh, Red color is uh, second class and lime is third class with respect to this uh, training data set. And with, with respect to petal length, petal width, we are getting this model. So here we our accuracy is just 0 0.24 only. Uh, so which is not perfectly working. The confusion matrix is uh, given here. And like that for GMM model, here uh, again I, we are passing the number of groups that is 3. Uh, for the Gaussian mixture model, we are training that GMM model by using the X. Then after training, we are uh, assigning the clusters uh, from the uh, training data. Uh, again, we are displaying with respect to sepal length and sepal width. So this is our data. This is our appearance uh, first model uh, with, with first uh, two features, sepal length and uh, uh, sepal width. And the second one is petal length and petal width, so which is look like this. So this is the way uh, to uh, 
uh, use the em algorithm for uh, uh, k means and gmm models here the gmm model is having two parameters sigma and mu so for updating that parameters we are using the um, em algorithm in the k means we are we are you having the mean as the parameter so for updating the mean parameter we are using the em algorithm so we can use the em algorithm in this two uh, methods thanks for watching